It was about a year ago this week that I made the most difficult and yet easiest decision of my life when I removed my name from consideration for the office of bishop. Difficult because there was nothing I coveted more than to become bishop. Easy because God's no was a resounding clarion call, pun intended. And while I was comfortable with that decision and extremely excited about the prospect of Michael Lozano becoming our new bishop, there was a disease. What now? What did my future hold? when the last 20, 30 years has been focused on becoming bishop, and that doesn't happen, and it won't happen again, what now? What shape will my ministry, my call, take? In that respect, I understand very clearly the plight of Sarah and Abraham. Sarah and Abraham are in their 80s, comfortably retired in their retirement condo in Ur, suburban Babylon, sitting by the pool drinking their margaritas one afternoon. God shows up and says, I want you to leave this comfortable life, travel halfway across the known world through the desert to a land that I will show you and there you shall become a great and populous nation. It's kind of like trying to sell somebody waterfront property in Arizona. But they go. And their journey is one misadventure after another. And they began to wonder about this promise and this call. Is it really what it was supposed to be? And to make matters worse, they are still childless. And at their age, there are no signs that it's going to change rapidly. They do have that short interlude where they try to take matters into their own hands, but that proves to be disastrous. And then the three strangers show up and announce that Sarah will be pregnant by the time they come back the next year. Is it any wonder that their reaction to this news is laughter? It's crazy. And yet now as we read Scripture, we recognize that such unexpected pregnancies, calling of the most unlikely characters, even life out of death, is not beyond the reach of God. In fact, God seems to have a great sense of humor in his choices and his future. Two weeks after I made that decision, I was sitting on a couch with my mom for the first time in 62 years. Talk about a laugher. What is even more interesting is that it was through her that God began to issue the new call. Long before Corona rolled around, my mom has been pushing me to begin to open my vision of ministry beyond grace, beyond the synod, to a wider audience. I laugh. I should know better by now, but I laugh. And then Corona hit. 
and there became increasing pressure to have an online presence. I knew we couldn't do worship here at Grace the way we wanted to online. We had no production staff, no equipment. But for the last 10 years, I've been telling congregations that they needed to find ways to share their faith, share their stories and God's story. And so maybe a little front porching. Oh, what the heck? That was six weeks ago. Today, on an average, we at Grace reach anywhere from 300 to 800 people Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with the Word of God. It's pretty amazing. It's crazy. It's worth a good laugh. What the future of the church will be, no one is really certain right now. How long we will struggle trying to figure this out, we don't know. But we do know there's no going back. God is pushing us forward across the wilderness. And where we will come out will be in God's hands. And there will probably be a lot of laughter as we get there. but also a great blessing in what God has managed to do through us. Rise, O church, like Christ arisen from this meal of love and grace. May we through such love and vision whose we are and whose our praise. Alleluia, alleluia, God, the wonder of our days. Rise, transformed, and choose to follow after Christ the wounded whole. Broken, shed our lives are hallowed to release and to console. Alleluia, Alleluia, Christ our present, past, and goal. Rise, remember well the future God has called us to receive. Present by God's loving nurture, Spirit led, then let us live. Alleluia, Alleluia. Spirit, grace by whom we live. Service be our sure vocation. Courage be our daily bread. Mercy be our destination. From this day and unto death. Alleluia, Alleluia, Christ, O Church, a living faith.